Hey guys, what's up? So decide, uh, today I decided to make a small, uh, a quick review or overview of a bag that I've been kind of using, um, especially to store my magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, play mats, stuff like that, um, as I'm traveling to and from locals or um, events and tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, I used to use a Jan Sport backpack, um, but it got, got kind of cramped and it was like uh, ripping and finally just kind of um, didn't have enough space, I guess, in some sense. So this bag I got right here, um, name of company is called Reigns, and they're from Europe. And um, I happened to get this bag while while I was in, I believe it was Copenhagen. Um, and so I, I paid uh, euro, not the USD. So I think I paid like 80 euro or so. Uh, at the time, uh, 80 euro was almost one to one uh, with the USD. So um, basically I paid about 80 bucks for the bag. And um, in Europe they have the VAX refund, which the store apparently does, does do. So if you're in Europe and you decide to uh, purchase uh, items from Reigns, you can get the uh, VAX refund back and they'll save you a bit of money. So definitely I think uh, if you're in, your, you're in Europe, um, either as traveling as an American or just Europe in general, um, buying it there is probably best versus buying it in the US. But um, this is the messenger bag or the MSN bag, M something like that. Totally forgot. I'll put in the uh, correction the title of the, uh, the video later. but. Um, essentially it's a waterproof neoprene material um, and I think it's like 22 gallons or so in terms of volume and um, I put a bunch of stuff in here I'll open it up and kind of show you what I have in here uh, it's quite a lot and generally if I don't stuff it full to the brim uh, this matte tube right here is usually inside the actual bag itself but right now I kind of have it sticking out a little bit you can kind of see, you can just take it in and out if you wanted to. Um, the color I got, I think it was like sandstone or tan or something like that. Um, just, yeah, just kind of like a, it's a reminder of like an FDE, a flat dark earth, if you're into like, you know, military stuff. Um, that's that's what the color kind of reminds me of here. Um, the strap's pretty simple. It's a little dirty right now uh, from some of the dust I have on the table here, but uh, it's just a, basically a simple strap. Uh, I did end up buying sort of a um, a cushion for the strap because this bag doesn't come with a any sort of cushion, so that's kind of the uh, the the negative point of it. So if you carry a lot of stuff without the strap, since the strap's so thin, it can you know dig into you into your shoulder. So I bought this cushion from them. They they sell these cushions for their their bags, and I think it's about like ten bucks or twelve euros, something like that. So it's not too expensive. So it's two padded cushions that you just kind of slap over. Um, over the strap, and it's kind of like a seat belt cushion. If you if you are into cars, um, you know you have a seat belt cushion like this. You put it over your your strap, and it kind of helps it from digging into your shoulder and your your chest area. So yeah, that's why I've added here. Um, so together with the strap and the bag itself, it's about 90, uh, 90 euros or so. So about ninety bucks. Um, build quality wise, pretty good. Uh, I don't know how much weight it can carry before like you know the strap gives out uh, right now I want to say I have probably about 20 pounds or so in the bag and it, it works um, it, it's held up fine um, the cushions are nice I can walk around with it without it um, digging to my um, my shoulders um, what I don't like really like too much is this uh, this adjustment sometimes this adjustment will kind of get loose on its own and it's kind of hard to kind of keep it even without it kind of shortening or lengthening on its own sometimes if you pull too hard on it but outside of that it's nice um, main negatives is it doesn't really have any sort of like small pockets so you have like pencils that you want to keep with you or um, you know stuff like that in the front there's like no zippers this bag only has basically two clips and that's it there's no zippers there's nothing uh, else kind of holding your um, your items in your bag together so if you have like loose items it's, it might not be that great but um, in general I think the size is pretty pretty good for the, for what it, it carries and for what I 
usually uh, carry in it. So let me kind of show you what's inside of it and what I have inside, um, inside of it right now. So I, I essentially stuff it full of stuff in here. And you can definitely use it for school if you like. Um, you can use it for travel if you like. Um, I like the fact that it's waterproof, so I have some like you know expensive cards or a laptop or something like that. It's nice to be able to you know um, use this in the rain without um, being afraid that you know your stuff in here is gonna get wet. So obviously, um, for stuff I have in the in the um, backpack, I got this long Ultimate Guard mat tube with a, a mat inside of it. Um, so typically, if I if I don't have all the stuff in here, you can kind of leave it so the mat tube kind of sits I guess sideways and it won't really pop out from the top like that but since I have so much stuff in there right now um, yeah and then um, yeah let's take out some stuff so I got two uh, I guess there are two gem tech um, or gem accessory deck boxes and these are like pretty big um, you know it's got my modern deck in here uh, I got my Pioneer deck in here, um, so you got that, and then I also have the largest item in the bag, which is my, um, I'm going to put the bag to the side right here, so you can kind of see this is the Smart Hive, I think, from Ultimate Guard, um, so it's pretty, pretty big, so I was able to kind of fit all this in the bag, so if you imagine this is the square right here, that's kind of like the, um, the bag area um, that's why I have in there um, and so inside of here I have you know a couple deck boxes um, you know, I have some EDH bo deck boxes some Yu-Gi-Oh uh, deck box and uh, you know some dice and uh, some tokens in here you know life counters so yeah so basically that's all of my gaming accessories um, a total of like six decks uh, you know two Yu-Gi-Oh and like four magic decks uh, plus these really large magic decks. Um, so if you have the smaller one, or you have like the the super hive or something like that, you can you'll probably just fit all of that into the bag itself. Um, but yeah, and inside the actual bag itself, it it's got another slot. It's got this little slot right here. I'm not sure if I can pop up pop up in the camera, but basically it's kind of padded. So I guess you can put your laptop in here. What I end up doing is I put my spell grounds in here, so it's it's really nice. It fits my spell grounds really nicely. So uh, got my spell ground and and that's in a, a kind of a pyramid holder. Have some free Pokemon stuff I got from the other day at a local, so I forgot to take them out. But yeah, so I got my spell ground mat in here. Kind of shove it in the uh, the pyramid um, perforated holder, and it fits really nicely into the. Uh, the um, laptop slot I have back here, which is kind of nice, and it adds a bit of cushion uh, between my back and the uh, uh, the deck boxes, so it's pretty comfortable to carry. And yeah, that's all. That's all you really have. It's really simple, really simple design. And if you're not really carrying too much stuff, there's these buckles on the side, which you can kind of uh, pinch together to kind of make the bag a little smaller. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a nice school bag. Uh, typically, when I go to tournaments, I'm only really usually carrying one deck plus like a tube or my spell ground. So, for example, when I go to modern, I usually take my modern deck, just put it in there, and I take a mat tube or something and put it in there, and that's it. Um, and I'll collapse the the buttons on the side here, put the uh, the buckles on, and uh, yeah, really simple really uh, easy to carry um, and the quality is pretty decent uh, stitching looks uh, pretty good to me um, there's a little bit of fraying on some of the stitching very small fraying but that's kind of natural with uh, canvas material uh, canvas type uh, straps um, out, the stitching on the neoprene itself is pretty solid nothing's fraying or peeling or uh, anything like that and um, yeah, I've been just basically using this every time I went to, um, or every time I go to locals um, to carry my stuff. And yeah, uh, it's just a nice size. There's there is one that's smaller than this. If this is too big for you, um, it's maybe about 
three or four inches uh, smaller. Um, but I think this size is good, especially if you're this um, gonna purposely use this only to carry like your um, gaming accessories. That's really good. You can ca you can carry like pop comfortably probably like five thousand cards. I would say if you really wanted to to maximize, you can prepare, probably carry a five k. Uh, case in here or one of those um, super um, aircraft carrier uh, deck box holders from um, from uh, Ultimate Guard. So yeah, um, that's that's a bag. Pretty simple. Um, nice colors, nice material. Um, hoping it's gonna last for several 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 years, and it looks like it would. It's pretty, as long as you don't overload it in terms of weight, I think you should be fine. Uh, for me, I would think this would be the weakest part of the bag is where the strap gets sold into the the neoprene. If anything was to, uh, was gonna rip, it would be this part right here. Um, you know, the belt buckles and stuff, pretty simple stuff. Like this is metal, and I think it's probably coated in in black um, uh, metal, so it might chip over time. Um, that's the only other thing is that uh, the belt buckles might chip over time and uh, show the uh, silver underneath. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's there's not much else uh, to the bag. Nothing sticking out or that would get caught. Um, and the straps are relatively good. Um, you know, they're probably like Cadora or, or canvas or something. And like I mentioned, this this is the weakest point of the uh, the whole um, bag that would probably rip if you put like you know 100 pounds worth of stuff in here. Um, yeah, this uh, cushion's nice too. Um, pretty adjustable uh, in terms of like the length. If you want this bag to sag on your back, or you want it to ride really high up on your back, um, I kind of have it at the midway point. So yeah, and um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the little overview here. Um, I've been using this for about a month, almost two months now, and yeah, it's, it kind of serves. Um, as a decent uh, um, bag to kind of carry all my cards a little bit better than my Gen Sport that I had for years and yeah that's all I got for you guys so see you next time